I, I wasn't planning on getting a kitten today. Like we knew that we were gonna do it sometime very soon. But I had plans to do like homework all day today, but now I don't think that I'm gonna do it, so. <laughs> Ow. Hello, I'm doing some very very serious exciting business today. My eyes are already watering I don't know if it's because I'm excited or because I'm just Repeatedly stabbing myself in the eye because I'm in such a rush. I literally don't need to wear makeup for this I, I never need to wear makeup makeup is not a necessity. That's not the point I just feel like I need it to impress the kittens <sighs> as you can tell by the title Hopefully today I am adopting a kitten which I'm so excited about you may have seen in a previous video of mine Or maybe if you follow me on my other social media that I Unfortunately, oh my god. I don't know why we still own a house phone and why she still rings recently my family and I we lost our 17 and a half year old cat not by not lost, like he's not, he passed away. <laughs> it's been about a week now since he's passed away and I'm really worried about people being like, too soon for you to get another cat. Here's the thing. <laughs> I have been wanting to get another cat since the start of quarantine pretty much. The only reason that we didn't do that is because Missy was so old and we didn't want to like stress him out and confuse him towards the end of his life. Like we didn't want him to feel any type of anxiety or stress being at home. I just like held off on getting another cat. I'm still getting dressed. I'm like rushing because the open house for the kitties starts at 12. It's currently 11.30. Yeah, currently my mom is going through chemo. Not having a pet in the house when we've always had a pet in the house for literally my entire life. It's really hard on her being through the middle of chemo and not having that like love to give anymore. It's tough. It's like really hard. My fake freckles might look ridiculous. That's okay. Who am I gonna impress? The kitties. I'm really excited. I'm like ready to like open my heart up to another kitten. I found one that I have my eyes on and we are so in love with and her name is Smokey. Crossing my fingers that she's still there or that if she is there that we click and connect. Let's go to the animal sanctuary. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I guess next time I'll see. Maybe I'll have acquired the quick, acquired the quick, acquired the kitten. Am I okay? Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. I did not get Smokey. Smokey was adopted this morning, but that makes me so happy though. I know. <laughs> hey, bud. We bonded immediately, and she was licking my finger. Come here. Yeah. Hi. This is Ava. I don't think that's gonna be her name. I think I'm gonna change it. So sweet. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I didn't tell my boyfriend that I was getting a cat. <laughs> Adam knew I was getting a cat, but we didn't know that it was gonna be today. Let's just see his reaction. <laughs> Did you get a kitten? Yeah. You did? Oh my god. Look at it. Beautiful. Hi. Ava? Oh my god, that's so cute. As of right now, she's so crazy. Uh, Whoa. Is it your cat or your mom's cat? My mom said it's my cat, so. Wow. You smell good. You smell like shampoo. Yeah. Little Ava, for your very first ride home, we have to listen to the strokes. It's, we have to. Let's go home, little Ava. Okay. You don't have time to play with me anymore. Be right there, honey. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just got back from Petco. Being a cat mom is so hard. Look at my cat bag. I was meant for this. But good job! Yes, Ava! How am I supposed to get anything done? Oh my god. My allergies are worth it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you show like Kaylee and Derek? Kaylee doesn't know. Derek doesn't know. <laughs> Hello. Okay, it's many days later. Well, I got her Saturday. Today is Wednesday. Hump day. Happy hump day. No way. No, that's not what we're gonna do. She is so hyper right now. She has slept all day and now it's time to party. But it's not because we're going to bed very soon. But I'm gonna tire you out first. 
Yes, I'll give an official name reveal because I don't think I said it in this video yet, right? Like this is little Clementine. Yay, Clementine! Clementine was like one of the first like names that really came to me. Why are you like so defeated right now and sleepy? She's doing great. She's doing amazing. Well, we'll get into that. My allergies are bad because I'm really allergic to her. Um, and my medicine is starting to wear off. But like, look how cute she's sitting. I felt like Clem, Clemmy, kind of reminds me of Chlamydia. Not gonna lie. But I think it's so cute regardless, right? She has no idea what Chlamydia is, so it doesn't really even matter. Oh my god, I love her. Here <laughs> is the thing though. My first instinct when I adopted her on Saturday was to not bring her home and to bathe her. That night, we're like really bonding and she like finally fell asleep on me and everything um, until I saw something crawling on her. I knew that she was on flea medication because the sanctuary told me that she was, but I kind of got freaked out. Many, many flea baths later because turns out it was not just one flea. I, I don't know why I just assumed. Missy had never had fleas, okay? I didn't realize my computer might be extremely loud, but the reason that it's so loud is because I just completed a project and it's 1 a.m. and she's she's not capable of handling that. I'm not capable of handling that. Luckily, all the fleas that have come off of her have been dead. I had to like strip and disinfect the entire house pretty much. Also at the same time, I realized that she started showing cold symptoms. So that freaked me out. And then also at the same time, she started showing symptoms of having ear mites. I genuinely am trying to do everything the best as I can. I've been contacting the sanctuary, they have a vet there. She has a vet appointment next week to get everything checked out. I've done what I can in the meantime. She's on medicine currently. I know people on the internet all have like very good intentions and stuff and they just want to bring their education to the table, but it's so hard to know what to do when I'm getting so many like conflicting answers from people. I have not seen a flea in days. Really crossing my fingers that that whole entire fiasco is over because Jesus Christ, fleas are disgusting. I was concerned. I was like, can I have fleas? I don't have fleas, but it reminded me of like an Animal Crossing where you can like hit your villagers to catch fleas off of them. That's what I felt like I was doing to her. Like she was the villager to see like, oh no, like she might be sick and have all these different things. It like scares me first of all, because I just lost a cat recently. I'm just doing everything the best of my ability for her and I love her a lot. And so I don't want anything bad to happen to her, obviously. And side note, my mom and her are best friends, like literally best friends. Like they love each other so much. So she has been nothing but an amazing addition to our family. Please, if you guys are considering getting a kitten, a puppy, please adopt and don't shop. There are so many animals that need your love. There was 23 adopted cats the day that I went, which makes me so happy because they're only open to the public for two hours. So it was just an amazing day. You went in there yourself? Oh my God. Please don't look at me like I put you through in jail because you literally went in there by yourself. Oh, good night. Also, shout out to Headcount for sending me this sweatshirt that says good to vote. If you didn't know, I teamed up with Headcount to get people to register to vote. If you haven't done so already and you're still able to register to vote in your state, uh, go do that. Link will be in the description and also on the screen. I personally got my mail-in ballot today, which I'm very excited about. Make sure to vote. Your vote definitely counts, especially if you're in Pennsylvania because we are in a swing state and we are trying to vote Trump out, so please go vote. <laughs> and also make sure to go check out my Instagram because uh, you guys reached over well over 200 registrations for voting. That means that over 200 of you guys registered to vote using my link. What? So I promise you guys that at 100 registrations that I would be uploading a five minute very embarrassing video of myself onto my Instagram. So go follow me on there. 200, the WAP dance, but there's a little bit of a special twist coming out. So uh, just go follow just to, you know, see that when it comes out. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go tend to little Clem, you know, give her a good night. Pat. If you like this video or you like me, make sure to leave it a like because it helps me out so much. And also leave a comment, have you adopted before? What is your pet's name? Also make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty and if not, you're disgusting. Also make sure to have your bell notifications on so that you know every single time I post or else you are gross. If you wanna follow me on my other social media like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. And if you wanna follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nick Nasty. I'm too big. I want to say little Clem and I are peacing out. Can you see up my nose? Okay, I'm gonna end this. Good night.